Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and uh, welcome to another how-to video from Stove Steining and uh, Tasty Tea Food Chef uh, blog. Uh, this afternoon we're going to do uh, a Black Forest Gatto with a little bit of a difference. Um, what what we've done is obviously this time of the year it's really good cherry season at this time of the year so we've got some really nice cherries but what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use Grutian cherries for a change. Now Grutian cherries have been, uh, they are they're in, they're preserved in sugar and kirsch so the, this is a bit more of an adult themed um, dessert. So what we're going to do to start off with, we've got a lovely glass here, we've got a nice presentation glass. So I've made nice chocolate mousse up here. What we're going to do is we're going to start this off and we'll just start off with a little bit on the bottom just to get this going. So you've got a base for the first sponge to actually sit on. So what I'm going to do is I've made some sponge here. Now this we're actually just going to put into the bottom and then a little bit of the Kirsch liqueur just to soak that a little bit in there after that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put a few of these cherries in. Be careful putting them around. You either always put them in odd numbers, either fives or threes or sevens. But we'll put five of them in there. And I'm going to top this off with a little bit more chocolate mousse on top of this. This you can do prior to your meal because this mousse needs to set up in the fridge. But that's not much of a problem. So what we'll just do now is just tilt this. So you get a nice effect around the side of the glass there. So what we're going to do now is we have another sponge which we're going to go in here now. Just press that down. And obviously another bit of the liqueur in there. And a few more of the cherries. We've got another five in again on the edges. And you get to see these through the glass. Move that going around a little bit. And just push them down a bit. Like we see in this mousse will go in the fridge and it will set up. So, let's start with this one. So, we're now to the main body of the actual sponge. So we'll do the same again with the next, next layer. So, we're starting to head towards the top now. We'll get a bit more of these cherries in here. Now, with dishes like this, when you do them in glasses, the nice little presentation dishes for parties and all that, but you really want to have a bit of a wow factor at the end. So that's what we're going to have in a few minutes. We're going to have a really nice well factor at the end. So, we've got the sponge sitting on the top. We'll just push that down a little bit. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to add a nice little quenelle of cream on the top. And a little sprig of mint into there as well. Mint, chocolate and cherries go together very well. So what we've got in the fridge here is I've got some little garnishes to go with it as well. Which we'll just get out. So I've got these ones I made up before. Chocolate cage to go onto it. So we'll also have you have melted some chocolate and piped them out really thin as well. What we'll do with this is we're just going to slightly break that up a bit. Just so it's not too big and overpowering on the dish. And what you need to do is you just need to try and get a little bit of height on your dish. So if you put them in the fridge and let the mousse set up, it'll probably take about half an hour to 45 minutes to set up. And that would be a lovely little dish for um, desserts. And that is my version of Black Forest Gatto. 